Imagine two people. Both get seven hours of sleep nightly, but one wakes up feeling refreshed while the other struggles with fatigue. The difference comes down to a single factor that research now shows is more important than sleep duration for longevity. It's based on objective data from 60,977 people tracked with wearable devices. The study found that consistency in this one area can reduce mortality risk by up to 48%. What is this overlooked sleep factor that could add years to your life? The answer might surprise you, especially if you've been following the most common sleep advice. I've been a family physician for 17 plus years and I help people feel and perform better and live longer using simple, science-backed habits that fit into busy lives. For decades, we've been told the same thing. Get eight hours of sleep. Your doctor says it. Health websites repeat it. Sleep apps track it. But what if the real key to longevity isn't how long you sleep, but when? Public health experts have made sleep duration the gold standard. The National Sleep Foundation built their entire guidelines around getting the right amount of sleep. This makes sense on the surface. Sleep handles everything from muscle repair to immune function. More sleep should mean better health, right? Here's where things get tricky. The research behind the 8-hour rule shows some surprising problems. A major 2010 meta-analysis examined over 1.3 million people across 16 different studies. People who slept less than 7 hours had a 12% higher risk of dying early. That supports the get more sleep message. But people who slept more than 8 to 9 hours? They had a 30% high risk of early death. That's more than double the risk of short sleepers. This creates what scientists call a U-shaped curve. Too little sleep is bad, too much sleep is worse. The sweet spot sits right in the middle. But this still leaves us with a big question. Why some people thrive on six hours while others need nine? Decades of survey-based studies have shaped the eight-hour rule, but people routinely overestimate how much they sleep, calling the whole approach into question. Here's the real issue with duration-focused advice. It ignores how different we all are. Your circadian rhythm doesn't match your neighbours. Your work schedule affects your sleep differently than someone else's. Your age, genetics and lifestyle all play a role in how much sleep you actually need. Duration advice also misses something crucial about how our bodies work. Sleep isn't just about quantity, it's about timing, consistency and working with your natural rhythms. So researchers turned to wearable data and made a discovery about sleep timing. The people with the longest lifespans weren't necessarily getting eight hours of sleep. They were sleeping consistently, same bedtime, same wake time, night after night, Scientists needed a way to measure this consistency objectively. So they developed the Sleep Regularity Index, a measurement that tracks how consistent your sleep actually is from day to day. This metric uses wearable devices that monitor your movement every single minute. These accelerometers can tell when you're asleep or awake based on how much you move. The Sleep Regularity Index, or SRI, compares your sleep state at the exact same time each day. Are you asleep at 11.30pm on Monday? What about 11.30pm on Tuesday? It makes this comparison for every minute across weeks of data. This is completely different from keeping a sleep diary or answering survey questions. You might think you go to bed at the same time every night, but the accelerometer data tells a different story. Most people's actual sleep patterns vary much more than they realise. The SRI score runs from 0 to 100. A perfect sleep score of 100 means you fall asleep and wake up at exactly the same time every single day. A score of zero means your sleep time is completely random. Most people fall somewhere in between, but the differences matter more than you might expect. Here's what makes this measurement so powerful. It captures how stable your internal body clock actually is. Your circadian rhythm controls much more than just sleep. It regulates hormone production, body temperature, blood pressure, and immune function. When your sleep schedule jumps around, it disrupts this entire system. And just a quick note, if you're finding this helpful, I break things like this down every week in a free newsletter for people who want to feel better, live longer, and cut through the health noise. No fluff, just real, practical stuff that works. You can sign up below. Now back to the video. So the Landmark Winfred study tracked 60,977 people for over seven years using this exact measurement. In this study, the most regular sleepers had a 48% lower all-cause mortality risk compared to the most regular group. Even people in the middle ranges showed significant benefits, with 20-30% to 30 lower mortality risk. The researchers found 
that regular sleep causes a cascade of health problems. Your metabolism gets disrupted first. Social jet lag, that's when your weekend sleep schedule differs from your weekday schedule, significantly increases your risk of developing diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Even a three hour difference between your weekday and weekend wake times forces your body to shift time zones every week. Inflammation follows close behind. Research shows irregular sleepers tend to have higher levels of inflammatory markers linked to heart disease, diabetes, and accelerated aging. Your immune system weakens too, making you more likely to catch common illnesses. The study revealed something remarkable. Sleep regularity predicted mortality risk better than sleep duration. The most irregular sleepers face health risks comparable to smoking. This fundamentally changes how we should think about sleep and longevity. The question becomes, how do you actually improve your sleep consistency? So building a consistent sleep schedule starts with simple changes you can make tonight. You don't need to overhaul your entire life. Some consistent changes outperform trying to get perfect sleep duration every time. You might be wondering, but my work schedule changes all the time, or I have kids who wake me up at different hours. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't. The anchor method works for many. Pick a wake-up time and stick to it seven days a week. Sleep experts recommend keeping your wake-up time within one hour every day, including weekends, to anchor your circadian rhythm. If you normally wake up at 6.30am on weekdays, don't sleep until 10am on Saturday. Wake up between 6am and 7.30am instead. This keeps your internal clock steady. Your wake-up time matters more than your bedtime. When you wake up consistently, your body builds sleep pressure at the same rate each day. This makes falling asleep easier without forcing it. A popular framework that many find helpful follows a simple pattern. Limiting caffeine well before bedtime, avoiding large meals and alcohol in the evening hours, finishing work tasks with enough time to wind down, putting away screens before bed, and maintaining consistent times without snooze. While individual needs vary, these general principles align with established sleep science. And your environment plays a huge role too. Get bright light, preferably sunlight when you wake up. This tells your brain to stop making melatonin the sleep hormone. In the evening, dim lights and avoid blue light from phones and computers for at least an hour before bed. Keep your bedroom cool, dark and quiet. Most sleep experts recommend cooler temperatures for optimal rest. Use blackout curtains or an eye mask. Try earplugs or a white noise machine if sounds bother you. Exercise helps too, but timing matters. Work out in the morning or early afternoon. Avoid intense exercise within three hours of bedtime. It raises your body temperature and can keep you awake. Create a 30 to 60 minute wind down routine too. This power down hour should be screen free. Try reading a physical book, gently stretching or taking a warm bath. Your brain learns to associate these activities with sleep time. Even shift workers who kept a steady sleep schedule on days off saw better health outcomes, showing the strategy works across different lifestyles. Sleep regularity acts as a mental health buffer too. Research shows that regular sleepers handle stress better, even after a bad night of sleep. A stable sleep schedule makes you more resilient to life's challenges. These findings reshape how we should approach sleep and health. It's not just about the hours you log, but the consistency of when you sleep. The Winfred study changes how we think about sleep and health. For years, we focused on getting just eight hours of sleep. Now we know that when you sleep matters, start with wake up time consistency, not just sleep duration. Pick a time and stick to it within one hour, seven days a week. Your body will thank you by building better sleep pressure and stronger circadian rhythms. Just moving out of the most irregular sleep patterns may offer the biggest mortality reduction. Even small improvements in sleep consistency can cut your risk of early death. So if you found this video helpful, you wanna watch this one next. It's picked to help you go even deeper. And click it now and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.